y'all. It's your girl Nelly D. And I got the one and only Drew with me. LOL underscore probably Drew on social media. Show him some love. And we do have the Nellie Drayton, the host of the show. Her at name is at Nellie Drayton. And for those who don't know, N-E-L-L-Y-D-R-A-Y-T-O-N. And that was for you, the Spotify listeners. Because if you don't know already, baby, we are going on Spotify. Yes, we are. Yes, baby. We're getting there. We're working it out for you guys. Trust me. Mm -hmm. We understand that a podcast is supposed to be audio, right? (laughs) But... The Nellie Drayton Show is literally just going to be a creative space for creative souls to gather and go beyond. Yes. Know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's a thing. It's but a today, great... mm-hmm. today, today, we're going to talk about having control of your creative space and past experiences that affect your creative process. Meaty. Very meaty, baby. I'm ready to get into it. We getting into it? Ready to get into it. Let's do this. First of all, you came up with this idea, literally like five eons ago what I, you know i just we, we want to make sure that every topic that we talk about has some way of coming back to people who are creative and making it a relatable topic which is hard because we can get into a lot of things that have nothing to do with the creative space mm-hmm. but i think this is something that we haven't talked about probably because it's stuff that is still happening to us today mm-hmm. like it's too real sometimes when we talk about things we, we we've you know, worked on it and we've let it go to whomever it needed to go to and we've moved on from it and we're just kind of like recounting it. But this is going to be like a bitter episode because this is something that's still happening to us today. Mm-hmm. I mean, we're, we are adult creatives who are trying to make a space for other people. And you, you, when you, whenever this becomes your opportunity to do this, you will see how people move differently around you. And it Absolutely. does, it leaves a bitter taste in your mouth mm-hmm. knowing that there are people who just, don't get it mm. or not that they don't get it they don't want to they don't want to they don't I was want gonna to say if they wanted to they would ask questions so that yeah. they do mm-hmm. but they don't that's closed-minded and i also think it's insecurity i think when people Ooh. see people doing things like this they they get negative because they're like that is something that i would love to do but it wouldn't be successful for me so I'm going to project that onto you and that Ooh. you're not going to be successful because Ooh. if I can't do it, I don't want to see you do it. Dang. Damn. I told y'all, we're going to sound a little bitter today. I mean, is it bitter or just reflection? We're reflecting on how people treat us, which is something that yeah. is normal. It is normal to process feelings about something that does not seem right. Yeah. It's not right that you're, you're treating me this way or you're doing this. So mm-hmm. I need to figure out a way to I mean make it make sense if if an artist is going to write about like a bad experience that they had like about an ex or whatever then we can use our platform to talk about things that have happened to us too absolutely yeah oh that's right that's what they be they, they use it as they they call it inspiration well baby I'm feeling a little inspired today too me too to talk about shit that happens to me because people don't understand how creative processes work and how you like I'm sure there are going to be people who are going to be like, oh, you're doing that little podcast every weekend. Like, little. Yeah, go ahead and call it little, babe. Ooh. Because when I do, when we do blow up and this dump does become some shit and then I can't hang out with you because I'm doing my little podcast every weekend, I'm going to remember you said that. Okay? Ain't nothing little about this. There's nothing little. First of all, mics are expensive. Second of all, knowing how to use audio equipment is okay. not something that you just figure it out. No. Unless you know where you're going or the direction that you're going. Mm. You have the resolve to figure it out. Then, yeah. But people that don't even have the work ethic. you This ain't little. This ain't little. What? And, and to put yourself out on a public platform in this day and age. I mean. That is. I would go as far as say that we're brave. Very. Because you're opening yourself up to the public. The public. To, to criticize, say and do judge. whatever you want. To have access to, you know, essentially any documented past that you have and then they also get to have a, a word in on that too absolutely and i'm gonna go ahead and say now y'all who want to go creeping on my social medias i'm sorry <laughs> okay <laughs> i'm sorry baby i shake. changed i'm not the man i used to be okay he did the shade. i did because i know they're gonna come for me they're like you said this at this time and well uh, baby, i was 14 years old what did you want from me uh, i didn't even know who i am right. I, I didn't know who i was i didn't know what i liked and, and things were different 
I feel like anything under the age of 25 should not be taken 100% seriously. No. You should give, there should be a grace period. Because your brain is not even, what what is the scientist's rule? Like your brain is not even fully developed until like 25, 26. Right. I mean, and, and to be honest, and my, here's my thing. I honestly would go as far as saying until you're probably around like you're around 30 is when you really should should have an idea of like what's just not okay and what is okay. Right. But I was just saying, y'all going to creep on my social media. I'm sorry. Okay. They're not going to come for you because I'm here. Ooh. She said, security. Just saying. <laughs> you know, had to put that out there. Because at the end of the day. Being a creative individual, I mean, from jump, when you are young, when you're a baby, Mm. when you're a toddler, adolescent, all those years, Mm -hmm. they definitely play into how you process your life. Yeah. Most definitely. So Mm -hmm. him putting whatever, whatever. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm not really worried about it. I'm going to be fine. Well, let's be messy for a second, because if they can't get over, if someone feels which I highly doubt that. Yeah. But there's a you know small percentage of the ifs. If yeah. someone is that moved by your past, and are then what about the exes you keep letting come oh. back into your oh. life? What about that homeboy that keeps ghosting you every weekend? And you're okay with it. You keep texting him back. Oh, okay. Because you you're perfect. Hmm. You blow up, it. and I'm not talking like two messages. I'm talking like. Phone call, phone call, phone call, phone call, voicemail, voice message, phone call, Snapchat. You're telling me. <laughs> oh, that's not like me. I, there was one person I did that to, and I don't, I'm not gonna say his name because he he will actually watch this. He's been he's been begging to like let me show him some of these videos, and I said absolutely not because I'd be talking about his ass. <laughs> he's absolutely not. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely not. not. No sir. He can not probably today. watch the third one. The third one's a good one. But um, mm. no, I I because he because he would do the he would do that ghosting. Oh, I can't take it. That's one thing. I'll tell you what. You ghost me one time, baby. That's all you get because I can't take it. It it interrupts my spirit. Mm. It interrupts. Like I can have everything going. I would have to cancel everything that day because it really tears me up. I don't like it. I hate it. So. Okay. Hate it. You and ghost was, me. When was this? Don't though? even bother texting me back. We will never talk. Well, I, I did. I, I took him back, but um. Well, that's. <laughs> but that's. There's nothing wrong with learning, though. I learned. From, I learned that after him, though. If he yeah. ghosts me now, he knows this. If he ever ghosts me now, he might as well just go ahead and like delete my number. I will never speak to him ever again. But right. yeah. don't ghost me. Yeah. But we've gotten off topic. We've gotten off topic. I mean, it, it's a past experience that affected your creative process. Oh, okay. Because facts, and that's you, right on topic. Because think about it: if <laughs> something that someone does completely shuts you down for the day, mm-hmm. that means that whatever creative ventures I have are done. Done. Yeah, no, you're right. Actually, you're right. But you know what? I think that is a. That's why I wrote it down. About. But I think that's a character flaw. Mm-hmm. I think it's a character flaw because. I can go through a lot of shit and persevere. Excuse me. But I think it only happens when I'm really feeling somebody. Like, if I'm, like, kind of, like, you know, like flirting, like, I think you're cute, and you think I'm cute, and I'm, like, texting every day or whatever, and then, like, I don't hear from you, like, I'm good on it. Like, I'm good on it. Like, truly, I'm an adult. Like, mm-hmm. I am good mm-hmm. on it. But if I'm, like, really, like, and when I'm really feeling you, you get, if you, me and you have been talking for, like, a month, you haven't even scratched the surface. I've kept you at bay, baby. You don't even know what's going on underneath these sheets, okay? Mm. You don't even know. So, but we had surpassed that moment. Like, yeah. And plus, me and him have a history. You know, we I, we can get into the whole timeline. We're not going to do that because, like I said, he's probably going to watch this video. And I, mm, I know who you are. You know who I am. Okay. Um, <laughs> point being, it's a character flaw because I, I should never let someone have that much power over me. Mm-hmm. Regardless if we were, you know, planning to get into a serious relationship if we've been in a serious relationship and we're thinking about getting you know engaged and and potentially married nobody should have enough power over me to the point to where it it stops my progression yeah period absolutely that's not that's not on them i can't i couldn't ever blame someone for that like you stopped me from getting to my bag no you didn't my spirit did and Mm -hmm. why i don't know i got to figure that out that's between me and my therapist that's right that's the creative process though like Mm -hmm. continuously discovering yourself continuously discovering the ins and outs of what makes you tick what makes you go what makes you stop what makes you just shut down for the day yeah that 
It's all in your past experience and how you process the emotions. Mm. Like, do you process them healthy? If you like, even are processing them, that's ooh. the thing. These, some of these men out here, I hate, I don't want to make this like a sexist thing, but some of these men out here have got some childhood trauma, baby. They are packing along everywhere. And it's like, throw that out. <laughs> it's like when you get someone's car and you're like, baby, <laughs> clean this shit up. <laughs> you are too grown for this. Why are we talking about, why are you treating me like I'm your mama? I didn't do that to you. She did that to you. Take it up with her. That's her problem and your problem, not mine. That is a thing. I have met some it very is. emotionally immature men. Yeah, and that's because they, that's, and I dealt with one for like six years and God, thank God he has now moved past that and he has moved on to like greater things. He's, you know, in a great relationship. Mm. Um, but he really did have like some serious, like, I don't want to say like mommy issues, but his childhood, he was packing that along, and that became my problem. I said, let me tell you something. I'm not her. I didn't do that to you. You you can process that and work that out, but if you're going to shut down every time we have a problem, then you're going to shut down by yourself. Uh, not by yourself. Because I'm not going to do it. Uh, but- if, if I have to go through this life and I'm going to process what you do. Nothing. Oh. That was just terrible. No, you was about to sing. And, and it got terrible. No, it's not good. Girl, go ahead and finish it. We'll give you the space. Oh no, space. God! You're welcome. And listen, in a creative space, you also know your limits. <laughs> she said, know your role. No, you're, you know. You know where your strengths are and your weaknesses. Know your lane. Hitting them or I carry notes is definitely a weakness. <laughs> I can do it. Y'all want to hear it? That's right. Insert. <laughs> <laughs> Post Nelly. <laughs> yeah, Post Nelly. Put something in there. Put a high, the highest pitch you can find. Yes. The my Celine Dion. I'm sorry. <laughs> Listen, speaking of past experiences, I will say that, and I put this on Twitter. Ooh. If you don't follow me, follow Ooh. me. But I just recently put this on Twitter. I was talking about how, like, I will always basically be forever grateful. And I hold creative souls at a high level because there are times that their work, their songs, their music... Um, mm. songs, music, same thing. TV shows, movies yeah. have gotten me through certain phases of my life. Mm-hmm. Like there's this, oh my God. Mm. Mm. There's a song called Stealing Cars by James Bay. I never heard that. Oh, oh my God. I don't know. That, 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 that song, that. listen, make fun of me if you want to, uh, but I'll never forget when I first discovered that song, I was at like the deepest, deepest, what, what, what did you say? There's... Oh, um, rock bottom has a basement. I know one of my patients at my old job told me that, and I it has I have brought that with me, baby. Listen, it's I was definitely in the basement because I was on my bathroom floor. Oh, I was sleeping in the bathroom. Like I was so upset about life not making sense that I would take a pillow and a blanket. And as at the time, I was like super deep into the like uh christianity walk like i was mm. really trying to find a place where like the world purpose. was quiet yeah i don't know why i don't know why i did that but i did i, yeah. I found my bathroom and i just laid on i took a blanket and a pillow my floor was clean if anything that should tell you how clean i am okay but i was able to sleep on my bathroom floor and i did and i would listen to those songs like and that was one of them stealing cars and like I think back to that moment where like I was like screaming, crying in my bathroom, Mm -hmm. having like a worship experience Mm -hmm. and also tapping in to like, oh, my goodness, my pain is going to be the thing that elevates me. Yeah, that I think that's when I think that's when creatives realize that like they have so much. I know. But I think that's when like a lot of creatives have like moments where they realize like, bitch, I could. I could really take over the world because when you realize that your emotion, like mm. some of the greatest work that that you will, you know, acknowledge or that will motivate you to do is something that moves you. And if it moves you, it's probably because it was there's some emotion attached to that mm. too. If you do your research, some of this stuff that really moved you, th- those people were in like some dark places or in like some like sad places. That's when you know, like. Anytime I've ever gone through like a really serious like breakup and like I've been like legitimately heartbroken, it's truly some of my and I this is gonna sound crazy, but some of my best work that I've ever done. Like so one of my main things that I'm known for is my Instagram. I post like my Instagram videos and whatever. Mm-hmm. Some of the videos that I love the most, people are probably like, Oh, he is so confident, he so this, he so that, he did da, 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 da. People would never know that I was in a very, very very dark place yeah. when I made those videos. Like one of my videos, which it's like, 
a really like sensual, like sultry video. Baby, I was not eating. Mm. I thought I looked great because I wasn't eating because I was so upset that I was just like working and da 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 just trying to, you know, get my mind off. And it was actually a video that I was trying to get his attention with. <laughs> like, look what you missed out on. But it turned out to be like great work. And then, and to be honest, after I made, like, whenever I get like that creative release after like a situation like that, like, I'm actually over it. Mm-hmm. I'm like, you know what? Look at what I just did. Yeah. I don't need that motherfucker. Absolutely. I really don't. Mm-hmm. So mm. for the creatives, because this is what this this is whole thing is supposed to be about, is having a conversation with you. Absolutely. Don't beat yourself up for having emotion, baby. Because that you about to you have work that people will never be able to there are some people who cannot channel that, mm-hmm. who are so devoid of being able to tap into legitimate emotion and how to emote. They will they people go to school for shit like that. They go to school just to emulate that. You sit on a gold mine, baby. Yeah, you better get into it. So when you get that breakup, baby, make work. Put that shit to work. When you're upset, when you're sad, write poetry. Start somewhere. Somewhere. Start somewhere. Because I would have never thought, like, and this is very cringy, okay? Just if you're going to go back and do, if you're going to go back and watch my old videos, just know that that was me trying to figure it out. It's kind of sort of figure it out. And I use that. Kind of sort of figure it out in my bio on Spotify. Check it out. Um, but in my old YouTube videos, I I did like a story time where like I try um, to. I we should do. Okay. We're going to cut this from post just real quick. Or maybe we're not. We're, we'll leave it in. But we should go back because I have an old catalog too. We should we're do. Go back and yeah. Watch we should do videos. a video where we just go back and tag our old YouTube videos and react to that shit. Because oh. girl, my shit is. Cringe. I'm getting chills. I'm wearing a jacket and I'm getting chills, <laughs> y'all. Zipper up. And you Ooh, it's getting hot in here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. The audio too much. Uh, apologizing Sorry, to the Spotify, Spotify listeners. listeners. We apologize. We, we definitely will like, make sure that we acknowledge you all at, yes, at all times. I get excitable. Please I'm know that the YouTube so visuals sorry. associated with this audio sometimes can be intense. So brace yourself. Yeah. I'm sorry. Disclaimer. I'll, I'll I'll refrain. But I was I look back and I'm like Janelle, what was you thinking, bro? Girl, you like, had you had. I was trying to figure it rose out. Rose colored glasses, sweetie. I was trying to figure it out. Oh, yeah. Who? Rose colored glasses. What does that mean? It means where you see everything like in a very like people say rose like you you were walking through your relationship with rose colored glasses on means like you didn't see any of the negative Aww. you were only like yeah you had rose colored glasses on baby you was like I'm gonna make it me yeah well shout out to younger me okay. because that's definitely a thing to keep or try to maintain for a long time yeah. honestly but g- good work is honest. You know, so even if it's like, cause I, like I was just saying about my my early work, it mm-hmm. is cringy. But you know what? I I did not too long ago. I went back, and I watched those videos, and I was like, damn, that 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 little kid, that like little kid. Yeah. Cause I was nineteen making those videos. Mm-hmm. And so that little kid, like, was just naive and like eager and ambitious, and I'm like. Because that young kid does not really exist anymore. I'm, I kind of, like, wish that I could go back to him. And, like, you know what I'm saying? Yes. So, like, shout out to younger me. You was you was eating it up. Yeah. You was you was trying to. You weren't quite there. You you still had your training wheels on. Mm-hmm. But you was well on your way, baby. Yeah. With the power that the our yeah. inner child our inner child would have or possess. Yeah. It's like the fact that you had that yeah. at that age. And not a lot of people are bold enough to step in whatever that is for yeah. them. They're hindered or just a product of their uh, environment, just stuff that can be very discouraging. I just, I I never have been a spirit that would allow for someone to control. Mm. Well, no, that's not true, actually, because I have. But after I, I always say, I won't, I typically will not make the same mistake twice Mm. because I will learn from the first time. And when I, when that young child was kind of stripped from me and I was forced to really grow up in a really cruel situation, Mm -hmm. I made a vow to that young man that we will never see ourselves in that again. Um, But outside of that, even before then, really, when it comes to like creative, you know, ambitions, I really have never, I've always put my foot down when it comes to certain things. Like, I played sports growing up, and that was for my family. Um, but I do, I did have a talent for sports. I was an athletic kid, but I never, I never let my foot up off the neck of 
but this isn't what I wanted to do. Like I made them, I made them know like, oh yeah, I'll go to basketball practice, but just know I don't want to. Damn. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go do baseball, but just know that I'd rather be doing cheerleading <laughs> or I'll go, you know, play kickball or whatever, but just know that I want to go be doing gymnastics. So I let them know, like, I'll do it. Yeah. But remember, I wanted to go put pom poms on and and go bust my on that floor. And they did not embrace that. No. Well, you know what? And I think my mother did. This is gonna get deep. Sorry. Shout out to Kim and Bill. Um, That's the government for me. (laughs) I think my I think my mother wanted to, but I think that she was wrapped up in some stuff that she just couldn't allow herself to step away from like her situation with her marriage to do that because it would really it would be a separating topic like it'd be a fight Fight. bill Bill wants all of his boys in his home to play sports kim really didn't give a shit she didn't care if i was you know twirling around she didn't give a fuck Mm. to be honest she just wanted me out of the house i wasn't tearing it up so she was like you can go do that shit outside Okay. Whatever it is. Yeah, get out it. the house. And I was like, outside. yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Doing little cartwheels on the trampoline, girl. I was eating them up. <laughs> Tearing them little bitches up. But, um, no, I think that she was she was so, um, she was so chained up mm-hmm. in this, like, this will destroy my marriage that she hindered, you know, my progress. Because there was a time where, baby, Disney was looking over in this direction, baby. Disney. Mm-hmm. Now, Low key, I'm kind of like glad because you see how them Disney folks be turning out. Um, not all of them, but some of them. Oh, I know. It's, ooh. Yeah, so I'm kind of like, whoo, honey. I don't know if I could have made it. I don't know if I could have made it, but it was just like you know, mm. damn. I, my childhood it holds a lot of what if situations. Like, what if I did this? What if this was my my story? What if this could have happened? Yeah. And I hate that, but you know, I, I say it all the time. Even if even if I do have what ifs or if I do have like regrets or whatever, I really wouldn't change anything. Yeah. I wouldn't. Yeah. That's good, though. Yeah. That just makes you, it helps you to look at life a little bit differently. Yeah. It's a different perspective with I wouldn't have this perspective if that was With accepting, accepting your past, which that's why we talk about past experiences, how they affect your creative process, because a creative process can start at any age, at any time. Mm -hmm. There's no limits to being a creative. You can Mm -mm. start small, you can start big, however you start. Just always remember that your past will affect the process. It does. It does. Always, but especially. it can. It doesn't always have to be negative. I'm gonna say, especially if it is, especially if it's negative. Yeah, because I can tell you now, the age that I am and the person that I've become, I wish somebody in my life is gonna tell me no, mm. or tell me like, you can't do that. <laughs> He's a trainee. You are very. You you should get into comedy. Ooh. Here, why don't you come with me? Go, let's go do a a, a mic situation come on because you're the funny guy because i'm gonna do it didn't drake (laughs) say that he's like oh you am a funny guy something something kevin hart i don't know i don't remember that's a song that's in a song i'm a lyrical lyricist i remember a lot of words yeah you the rap girly i'm the r&b girly and i will say a song that has i play this song probably like three times a day it's Mm. like medicine for me Mm. and this is why i'm always gonna say i'm otf i don't look I'm that one fan that literally looks at some of these artists, creative people as just that. I don't care what he done did to y'all. I don't care that he's a demon in, in Chicago. I, I don't care. care. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> now, unless he's out here, like, obviously like killing just, off women. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's like, all right. But really, and I'm about to be messy. Kind of one of the only reasons why I have high, like a little bit of respect outside of the music part of Little Dirk's career is India because she's bad, she's beautiful, and she's like, No, mm. I don't think so, absolutely not. Not on today, get it together, Love stop. That. Because that's the type of woman I am. I might not, I might mess up a few times, but at the end of the day, a man's gonna know, like, bro, I really messed up with that one because she's dope. Thanks. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know the power that I possess, and I'm not finna, okay, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not finna minimize that for nobody. Ooh. So, uh-huh, in regards, you know, in regards to that, there's a song. It's called Finesse Out the Gangway. It's about Lil Durk, Lil Baby. I don't know Lil Baby's life. I don't want to know his life. I just like the song. That song goes hard. I, that's my anthem. If you know me, you know that I played that song one too many times. Shout out to my brother who introduced me to that song. I wasn't even listening to Lil Durk and Vaughn and all of them and, and Boost. What, uh, what's his name? Buka 600. I was not listening to none of them. 
until me and my brother lived together. And I was like, just clean in one day, just trying to figure out my life. And then I heard it in the living room and I was like, who that? Who, who said that? And I had to go get it. I had to finesse out the gas. Oh, Ooh. she said, it's the flow because for me. Because that, it's the words. Like my out of the mud does not have to match your out of the mud. Ooh. Best believe I made it out the mud. Oh. Okay. Come I didn't word. have, you know, well, I can I can actually say I did have like cockroaches in my food because of the apartments that I was living in. But oh. it, it wasn't it was literally just the circumstances that I had to deal with. I had to face the fact that I had to live like that for mm-hmm. a couple of months or a year or two just to elevate myself to something much better. Mm. Right. So I literally finessed Ooh. out the gangway. I, I got like I was that. I'll never forget. Fourth of July, bro. We. <laughs> We come back from my auntie's house. I mean, there was gunshots for the rest of the night, bro. Oh, my God. Gunshots. I'm not talking Girl. like... Pew, 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 the get out. It was like... Thrr, the thrr. I was like, out. oh, that's not... That's, that's no not more. a that's not a pistol that's not that's that's an ak-47 Ooh. like it was Girl, you better than me i'd be like security <laughs> security, me out of security here. ain't gonna pull up in that neighborhood no, well, child, but my security will come scoop me come scoop get me out of here oh oh that girl oh, you meant that security yeah, oh. security come get me please i'm well, at with that you time tonight. i didn't <laughs> i do have one man that's like he's about that life and he'll definitely do something about it but mm-hmm. At that time, I didn't have anybody that was about that life. I so. got one, too. Listen, it's good to have a little ya, but you're single. We're single. I can have whoever I want. I'm not ready to mingle, but he is. I'm, like, it's it's uh, frightening how ready I am to mingle. As a matter of fact, like, um, I'm I'm going I'm to I'm get messy, too. Why the fuck are y'all not in my DMs? Oh, my God. I have been Hashtag asking for episodes. Be in his DMs. Please, please. Be you know how they say there's a meeting in my bedrooms? So well, there's a meeting in my DMs. And you're missing it. You did not accept the Zoom meeting. You are missing the meeting, baby. You had to get chopped. Well, that's that's okay that he was being. I allow the messiness because creative souls gather here <laughs> to go DMs. beyond. <laughs> I just need some DMs. Okay, I would stop. Look, we're going to campaign. Make Drew stop talking about his DMs. Somebody's going to have to take one for the team. And get in my DMs. <laughs> Not a campaign. <laughs> what are we voting for? They're going to petition. They're going to have signatures. We have 50,000 signatures saying, stop talking about your DMs. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> it's a petition. I'm holding a petition. Stop talking about your DMs. We don't want to hear it. Enough. <laughs> 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 I physically cannot. Yo, I might make that the title of this episode. Like, if y'all don't get in his DMs. Yeah, if somebody don't my DMs, y'all, really, somebody's got to do God's work, okay? Somebody's going to have to get in there, It's okay? God's work for me. At the end of the day, listen, it's welcomed because creative souls gather here to go beyond. Please. Okay? Please. I tr- I, that is my uh, slogan for yes. this show. Regardless of it's if it's a podcast or other things that's coming your way. Listen, that's the goal. We want people to come and join us at this table yeah. and realize that being a creative soul is so much. It's so overwhelming. But at the same time, it's so much fun because you get to be with like-minded individuals. Excuse me. And the best yeah. part about being with like-minded individuals is that you're not going to feel like the, re- the weirdest person in the room. No, there's no way. Mm-mm. There's no way. Not and, when you're around creative And you people. don't even have to worry about that because we're all like weird down here. Absolutely. Whatever they said in that, that, that movie, you know, we all float down here. We're all weird down here. What movie is that? It. The Clown. It. We said we all float down here. We, we, we're all weird down here or over here. Sorry. Oh, no. that, that, Sorry. That movie. Uh-huh. It's the Casa in the Cup. Hashtag Casa in the Cup. Put it in the comments if you got to. <laughs> if you know what it's like to have Casa in your cup. Mm. Hashtag Casa in the Cup. In the your cup below. runneth over with Casa. Listen, and in another episode, Security. we didn't talk about having a full cup. We didn't finish it, but we're going to yeah. definitely. We will touch back there's on so that much, for sure. There's so much that we want to talk to you guys about just so that yeah. you understand or just so you have an idea like, hey, I feel this way for a reason. Yeah. I am a creative person, but where do I start? Well, what do I do? You, you look at start your, here. Look at your, yeah, you Watch come us, here. And we will guide you, baby. We are your spirit guides to the world of navigation <laughs> of the creative juices. <laughs> I'm locking eyes with the camera. I'm talking to you. Ooh, and you. And, and you, you who's listening. And 
you. I'm talking to you. And you. And you. You're gonna love <laughs> me. <laughs> Listen. Look, that's why we're I'm here. Spirit, baby. Kindred. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that is why you're here. Because listen, I'm glad you got to hit that note because I couldn't. Thank you. And on that note, Ooh. are all hearts and minds cleared? I have one thing to say. Go one for thing it. To say. This is in the, the um, guided words of Kiki Palmer. I watched an interview with her recently because, you know, she's kind of having a come up right now. Mm. Shout out. Love that for her. Mm. But she said that. In order to have, not in exact words, I'm not quoting her. I was about to pull pull up the interview and like kind of get a quote, but I'm not going to do that because maybe you'll go, you know, look at it yourself. Shout out to that person who's making that, that whatever. Um, anywho, she says something along the lines of, in order to have success, you have to have growth, like personal growth. Mm-hmm. And I believe when you work on your past, whether you're going to use your past as um, your inspiration for a creative purpose or whatever. But once you like process that and start to grow as a person, baby, you are growing towards success. Okay. And whenever there's any growth, there's going to come hardship and struggle. So just know when life starts to take a turn and it seems like it's taking a turn for the worse, it is setting you up for something way greater than yourself. Okay. So don't get, don't get, um, don't get, uh, deterred. Mm. by the struggles of life because it just means that you're heading in a direction that is going to cause you to have to put your armor on baby Mm -hmm. and walk through it absolutely okay so you got that's bad you got it you got it promise promise got it shout out to the number one cheerleader of the millie drayton show the best (laughs) co-host a girl could ever ask for oh my god did i pay you to say that no it was that it was that alcohol that i brought over she said oh i'm gonna make it worth it i'm gonna pay you i'm gonna pay you back you have no idea love your cup listen that's a requirement when you are with creative individuals you have to remember that a cup is there to be filled okay you have to just be mindful. You don't have to do it because not all creative souls are genuinely caring creative Mm-mm. souls. Mm-mm. That's another topic for another day. Mm. But overall, if you're with someone that believes in the vision that you have, fill up their cup. Don't be fill, stingy. Yeah. Fill their cup up because maybe they are, they are going to fill yours. Listen, the mutual love and respect that we have at this table. <laughs> Sorry, listeners. Sorry. I'm going to have to back up because I got the spirit. <laughs> and, on that, and on that note... <laughs> we hope you guys liked it loved it and And want more more of it baby absolutely make sure you guys check us out on spotify episodes um are going to be uploaded the same time as these very soon they're going just put on notifications do that for me and i can't hold a specific schedule yet Bear with me. Full time job, full time mom, full time life, full time creative. We'll get to it as of right now. Just stay tuned, please. Okay, just keep locked in, and eventually this all is gonna flow. Absolutely. And on that note, we'll see you guys next time. Love you.